15 minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, Cygnus lifting off on top of its Antares rocket on its mission to deliver supplies and science to the International Space Station. DHS and TBC are nominal. The first stage is now burning and will burn for three minutes and 20 seconds of flight before it cuts off at... Uh, just about three and a half minutes into the flight. That provides the initial thrust to get uh, Cygnus going on its journey to orbit. Altitude is passing 10,000 feet. Engines are throttling to 55% power. Now more than 10,000 feet above the Earth and uh, everything proceeding smoothly. And uh, pressures remain nominal. Vehicle. Engines are back up to full power. Nominal chamber pressure on the main engine. Power remains nominal, altitude passing 30,000 feet. Engines remain nominal, as do four pressures. Crowd watching the uh, launch at lo Wallops there, uh, cheering its liftoff. We're now one minute and 30 seconds into flight, uh, another minute and a half to or two minutes to go until uh, the first main engine cutoff coming at three minutes and 28 seconds, but everything proceeding as expected in today's uh, flight. Pressure, we're about 90 seconds from uh, Miko at this point. Attitude remains nominal. Just passing uh, 100,000 feet in altitude. <clears throat> Stage one systems continue to perform very well. Vehicle attitude is nominal. <clears throat> Engines and core pressure remain nominal at this point. Avionics systems continue to look good. Healthy power systems. Two and a half minutes into flight, uh, less than a, or just over a minute left to go before uh, that main engine cuts off. Altitude just passing 200,000 feet. Attitude remains nominal. We started our slow throttle transition. Attitude and core pressures remain nominal. Roughly 30 seconds to main engine cutoff. Velocity is 10,000 feet per second. Engines have throttled back to 55% power. Altitude 300,000 feet. A TBC skew for Miko is initiated. Attitude remains nominal. Engines remain nominal, and we have main engine cutoff. PSS disable, and stage one separation. Storm is here and there that everything is continuing as planned. The main engines cut off right on time, and the first stage separated from the rest of the Antares rocket. Uh, coming up next at uh, the four minute and nine second mark, we'll have fairing separation. The fairing protects Cygnus through the early part of launch as it's flying through the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. That again will be at nine minutes and uh, four, excuse me, four minutes and nine seconds. Stage one delta C was nominal. At this point, we're in, a, and we have fairing separation. And there you see an animation of the fairing separating, and here that uh, that happened just as planned. Uh, after that, uh, the PVC batteries initiated, and stage two ignition. There it is, stage two uh, ignites, and that will be bur will be burning for two minutes and forty seconds to continue in Terry's and Cygnus's climb into orbit. The uh, Castor 30 XL will burn for about uh, two and a half minutes. Uh, Capsule 30 XL TVC performance is nominal. Attitude remains uh, good. 
vehicle power systems remain nominal. Attitudes nominal. Not much, not seeing uh, much consumption from the uh, attitude control system. Now five minutes into today's flight, everything continuing to go smoothly. You can see uh, it's uh, continuing to climb into orbit and uh, take uh, Cygnus and its 5,100 pounds of cargo on its way to the space station. Attitude remains nominal. Power systems remain good. Altitude is 190 kilometers. We're about 90 seconds from uh, stage two burnout. A minute and a half left for stage two to uh, continue firing. Then it will uh, burn out once uh, Cygnus and Antares reach orbit. Just uh, continuing stage two burn here. Vehicle attitude looks nominal. All vehicle systems appear very healthy. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Power looks good. Just one minute left for stage two to continue burning. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude is 210 kilometers. Attitude remains nominal. Power is nominal. Should be coming up on motor tail off right now. We see the start of the uh, motor tail off at this point. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude is 220 kilometers. Motor pressure continues to tail off as we head towards burnout. And we have stage two burnout. And Terry's is in orbit. And Terry's and Cygnus safely in orbit now. And uh, stage two, having finished its part of the uh, climb into space, We've got a couple more minutes now before uh, the next milestone, which is when uh, the Cygnus cargo craft will separate from Antares and let uh, the rocket fall away. That'll be taking place at nine minutes and four seconds into launch. So just a little over a minute and a half left for that. Our systems still look good. Vehicle attitude is nominal. <clears throat> Vehicle power systems and attitude remain nominal at this point. Again, we're just uh, uh, awaiting payload separation shortly here. Attitude and power remain. Eight minutes now into today's launch. And again, as you're hearing, everything continuing to look good. We're waiting for the uh, separation of the Cygnus cargo craft, which will take place at the nine minute and four seconds well, minimal mark. Usage of, uh, nitrogen from the uh, uh, second stage attitude control system. Cygnus is carrying with it 5,100 pounds of cargo, including uh, more than 1,000 pounds of scientific equipment and uh, samples that will be used in the many uh, science experiments that go on on board the International Space Station at any given time. Attitude and power are nominal. Waiting uh, payload separation shortly here. All systems uh, still look good. Attitude is nominal. And we have Cygnus spacecraft separation. And you see an animation of uh, the Antares pulling away from the Cygnus cargo craft, which will continue it on its own uh, to make a several day journey to the International Space Station, scheduled to arrive on Sunday. Like good injection of Cygnus into the intended orbit. With that, we're going to sign off from the RCC and wish uh, Cygnus a smooth journey to the International Space Station.